Oh, what's up, everyone? So um, I'm going to be going over your uh, geometry test review, right? So here it is. It's all 12 questions. I'm going to try to go over all of them real quick. All right, so number one, um, this is to find the cosine of C. So first, I got to label everything, right? So remember, first, you find your 90 box. Then you go across it. That is your H. And then we're gonna label the rest of them, remember? So now this one tells you to use uh, cos C. And this is a test review, so we're going over everything since the beginning. So this shouldn't be too new to you all. So cos C, C is right here. So from the letter C now, you're gonna draw two lines to the other two sides, right? Uh, don't draw it to the five, because the five belongs to H. So you're gonna draw it to three and the fourth. The longer of those two lines is the O, the shorter of those two lines is A. And then it's telling us to use cost right here. So then for um, Sokotoa, we're gonna be using cost, the middle one right there. So cost of C is equal to, and then you just put in the fraction like you should. So A has to go first, right? A is three, and then comes the uh, H, and H is uh, five. So the answer is three over five. So right there. Number two. And if I'm going too fast, please pause the video. That way you can catch up because I'm just gonna keep on going. Um, it wants us to, well, first I'm gonna label the triangle. First things first, I don't wanna jump ahead, right? Across that is the H. And then label everything else from the cosine of x. So where's x? Here's x. So I'll draw two lines to the other two sides. Don't go to the 37 because the 37 is already h. So all the way to the 12 and all the way to 35. The longer line you just made is o. The shorter line is a. Um, and then it wants us to use cost. It tells us cost right here in the picture. Cost. The cost which again, we would use the middle one there because that's CAA, so that means cost. So cost is again, A, or cost of, sorry, cost of X. Then you put A first, because A is right here. A is the first one right here, next to C. So A is 35. And then after that, you put H, because H is the one next to the A, uh, and H is 37. And then we can reduce those, so that's the answer, 35 over 37. And that's how you do the first four questions. They're just uh, ratio questions. I mean, we're not gonna use a calculator for these. I mean, we might have to to, uh, to reduce the numbers. That's what we might have to use a calculator here for. But you're not gonna put sin cost or tan until like number five on the, on the test. All right. Um, so Sokotoa. Um, label the triangle first, right? Across the 90, you put H all the time. That's the very first step. Then we're going to go to the letter A because it's telling me to use the letter A. Here's A. Draw two lines to the other two sides. Don't go to 45 because that's already H. So 36 and 27. The longer line is O, the shorter line is A. And then it's telling us to use tan. So that would be these three letters there, because T means tan. So tan of letter A is equal to, we've got to put O first, because O is the one next to T. That's the letter next to T. O is 36 over, then you do the A. A is um, 27. And you notice that number, that answer is not there, because we can reduce, we can divide these by nine. If you divide this by nine, 36 divided by nine is four. 27 divided by nine gives me three. So four over three. So A. Number four. First find the 90 box and then go across it, right? 
across the 90 box, you put H because that's the hypotenuse. Next, we go look for the letter they want. The letter they want here is sin. You want the sin or the sign of Z. So go find Z. It's right here. And then label from that corner, from that letter Z to the other two sides. Remember, don't go to 40 because that's already labeled. 40 is H. So we need 32 and then 24. Those are the other two sides we have not labeled yet. The longer of those two lines is O for opposite and the shorter line is A for adjacent. And then they want us to use sin. That would be the first three letters. It has an A and has an S. So S means sin. It wants us to use sin of Z. And they're gonna put the fraction in property and O has to go first because it's next to the S. O is 32. And then next to the O is the H. So now H goes in the bottom of the fraction and H is uh, 40. That's just not there, so we can reduce this. Again, if you cannot reduce this by hand, please put it in the calculator. 32 divided by eight uh, gives me four, and 40 divided by eight will give me five. So four over five. And that's how you do the first four. How many questions there are? There's gonna be 12. 12 total questions. Four of each kind that we've gone over of trigonometry. So here's number five. This is the one we're gonna need a calculator. You need a calculator from here on out, like from five all the way to the bottom. I mean, unless you need a calculator for the top, right? Um, so let's start working this out. First things first, here is my 90. Go across the 90, this is my H. Right? Next, if you notice, um, this one's different, right? Remember, it doesn't tell you what to use anymore. But from our notes, you should remember, oh, here's a 29. So I'm gonna to go to the 29. So at the 29, that's where I'm gonna start at. And that's where I'm gonna label my other two sides. Now don't make a line to the H because you already have that labeled, right? So go down to this one. I don't know what that is. And I don't know what the X is. These two sides I have not labeled yet. The longer of those two lines is O for opposite. So the opposite is 12 and the shorter of those two lines is A. That means the adjacent is X. Next. It's different, right? Because right here, it doesn't tell me, do I use sin, cos, or tan? That was like the other part of the questions. This is different. On this part, you got to scratch out one of the letters. What do I mean? Well, the adjacent is x. The opposite is 12. But what about the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is nothing. There's no number there. It doesn't tell me the hypotenuse is like 15. It doesn't tell me to find the hypotenuse. So in that case, you scratch the h out because you're not going to use it in this question. We're going to use only the O and the A. Because there's an O and there's an A. Now I'm going to look for an O and A in that Sokotoa thing on top. And it's right here. That's an O. That's an A. Which means I have to use these three letters. And that tells me how to solve the question. So I got to use Toa, right? And T. T is tan. Tan of 29 is equal to, and then O has to go first. So you put O first, O is 12. And then after that, has got to go to A and A is 29. No, A is X, sorry. And then you got to put this in the calculator. Uh, since X is on the bottom, you are going to divide. Remember that, write it down. X bottom, you divide. Remember, you never, never put tan 29 first in the calculator. It would be 12 divided by tan 29. So let me open the calculator, hold on. All right, so 12 over tan 29. This is the calculator I would use. 12 divided by tan 29. And there's the answer 21.6. If you wanna use this calculator, I would just go to Google and I was a search um, Desmos scientific calculator. And then just choose the first one. And that's how I got my calculator, okay? So 21.6 is the answer here. 
So B. Number six. First, here's the 90 box. Go across the 90 box and that gives you my H, right? Next, let's go circle the angle that's inside. The angle inside here is 59. I kind of covered the five, but that's a five nine. And then make two lines, right? Don't go, don't go connecting to the H because you already know that. Connect to the other two sides that we don't know. The longer of those two lines is the O, the shorter of the lines is A. Right, so then um, next what we do is we're going to scratch out one of the letters, right? So the adjacent A is 11, don't scratch out that. And the hypotenuse is X, don't scratch out that. But the O, the O has nothing. That's the one we're gonna scratch out. We're not gonna use it, sorry. So we're looking for A and H, A and H. And if you look at over here, there's an A, there's an H, which means you have to use these three letters. The C means to use cost. And cost of what? Cost of the number inside the triangle, so 59. And then A has to go first, A is 11. And then the H will come second and the X is H is X. Again, X on the bottom. That means you're going to uh, divide. And remember, don't put cost 59 first, put the 11 first and then divide that by cost 59. So in the calculator, 11 divided by cost 59. 11 divided by cost 59, 21.3, <clears throat> which they rounded to 21.4, it's okay. So the answer is letter D. Number seven, there is the 90, go across the 90 and I'll give you my H. And then the number that's inside the triangle, we're gonna circle it, so 31. And we're gonna make two lines. Don't go connecting a line to the H, the 16, cause we already have it. I need the side way over there and the side right here next to it. The longer line is O, the shorter line is A. Next, that means we are not going to scratch out one of the letters. The O, the opposite is X, the 16 is H. The A has nothing, right? So we're not gonna use the A here. We're only gonna use O and H. O and H. The only one that has O and H is right here. O and H. That means we have to use S. So S-O-H, S is sin. Sin of how much? The number inside the triangle, so 31. And then O has to go first, O is X, and then the H will go second, um, which is 16. Ooh, X is on top here. So when X is on top, you multiply. All right, so when X is on top, you multiply. And don't put sin first in the calculator, put 16 times sin 31. It makes it easier if you just never put the sin or cost of 10 first. 16 times sin 31. 16 times sin 31, 8.24. There it is, letter B. Number eight, there's the 90 box. You go across the 90 box, that is H. And then I'm gonna circle the 48 because that's inside the triangle, 48 degrees. And then remember, connect two lines. Do not connect a line to the H, connected to the other two sides. So X and the blank side over here. 
x that because that's longer that would be the o the longer line is o the shorter line is a and then now you scratch out one of the letters right right here uh, x is o for opposite 18 is h but a a has nothing so we're going to scratch out the a so here we're only going to be using o and h and the only ones that has o and h is right here o and h which means you got to use the s for sin so the sin or the sign that's what it means sin uh 48 because the number that goes here is the number inside the triangle and then you're going to put the o first because o is in the letter next to s o is x no yeah o is x and uh, h goes next and that will give us 18. so x is on top again and when x is on top, that means you're going to multiply. And remember, don't put sin 48 first, put 18 first. It just makes it easier. 18 times sin 48. 18 times sin 48. 18 times sin 48. Thirteen point three seven. Thirteen point three seven. Which they round to thirteen point four. The answer is A. So that's how you do those four questions. The last four questions are the newest stuff we just went over. We're trying to find the angle now. See there's no angle right here? Like how much is that? I don't know, five degrees, ten degrees, twenty-eight degrees, which one is it, right? This is the new stuff we just barely learned how to do. So I'm going to review it real quick. All right. So first, like we've always been doing, label the triangle. There's my 90. If you go across the 90, that is H. Right? So then now let's label the rest. And this gave some of you a little bit of trouble in class. So like, where do I label from, sir? Well, the angle is still going to go right here. Right, they're telling you to start from there. So that's going to be my reference angle. That's where we're going to start from. So from here, connect it. Don't go to the H because you already have an, a, a number there in a letter. I have to go there and I have to go here because I don't know what those two sides are. The longer line is O, the shorter line is A, right? Next, just like we did before, go scratch out one of the letters. What letter are we not going to use? Well, H is 40. And 21 is A. But the O, the O has nothing, so we're not going to use the O here. So we have Sokotoa, right? What letters do we have left? We have left over H and A. We're, we're using H and A. So go look for H and A. It's right here, H and A. So it means you got to use these three letters. So C means cost. cost right however since you're looking for an angle because you're looking for an angle find the measure of the angle right this is the only time you use cost negative one okay and then you make parentheses and you're gonna make a fraction what fraction goes there the a has to go first a is 21 on the bottom will go the second letter which is h h is 40 you put that in the calculator cost negative one 21 over 40 Cos negative one, 21 over 40. All right, so you come to the calculator and you click on function, F-U-N-C, func. It's, I'll just go see this says main, that was A-B-C and over here says function. One more time. We're always on main. That's where the main calculator is, right? But if you click over here, that's A-B-C and this is function. Well, we need, I forgot, cost negative one. Cost negative one's right there in the middle. Cost negative one. And our fraction was what again? 21 over 40. Now, you notice there's no numbers, right? So I have to go back to main and do 21 divided by 40. And it's 58.3. I'll show you again how to do it in the calculator. So 58.3, they say 58. 
So let's we'll write number 10 real quick. All right, so number 10, um, first things first, right? Here's the 90 box. We go across the 90 box. That is H. And remember, I don't like the arrow in there because I have to make more arrows. All right, and then what is the angle? Right here, we're trying to figure out that angle. So that's gonna be our reference angle. That's, that's our reference point. We're starting from there. Uh, do not connect a line to H. I need a line to go down here to 16 and a line next to it. The longer line is O, the shorter line is A. <clears throat> Scratch out one of the letters we're not gonna use. All right, H is 23 and 16 is O. And we're not gonna use the A here. So in a little Sokotoa, which one are we going to use? Well, we have H and we have O. That would be this one right here, right? So sin, got to use S. So sin. But since you're looking for an angle, it will not be regular sin. It will be sin negative one. <clears throat> Make a fraction, right? What goes on top? The O has to go first. And O is 16. On the bottom, it will be 23 for H, because H has to go second. So sin negative 1, 16 over 23. Again, to find the sin negative 1, you got to click on the function button, func. There's a the function button. You want sin negative 1, which now we have. Now you have to go back to main and type in numbers. The numbers were 16 over 23. 16 over divided by 23. 44.07. So 44, there you go. All right, 44. Yes, 44. <clears throat> number 11, we're almost done. Number 12 is the last question here. Here's my 90 box. We go across that. That would be H. Right, we're going to start right here. This is our reference angle. Connect the side way over there and the side right here next to it. The side, the longer line is the O and the shorter one is A. We've got to scratch out one of the letters, right? Scratch out the letter we're not going to use, right? Well, H is seven, O is three. So we're not going to use A here. <clears throat> so O and H, just like previous question we just did. We have H and we have O. So when you go look for that up there in the Sokotoa, our little thing up there says O and H would be right here, H and O. So we got to use S for sin. Right, so it's S for sin. Remember, it can be regular sin because we're looking for an angle. So it's sin negative one. Remember, that's called the inverse of sin, but I'm just doing regular stuff right now. Sin negative one, make a fraction. What goes first? The O goes first because it's the one next to the S. So O is three. And then H will go next, which is seven. So sin negative one, three over seven. So click on function, find your sin negative one, go back to main so you can type in numbers, three over seven. 25.37. So letter A is the answer there. <clears throat> And number 12, our last question here. Here's my 90 box. Across the 90 is H. Label the other two sides, right? <clears throat> From right here. I have to go all the way to the 21. I got to come right here next to it. The longer line is O. The shorter line is A. <clears throat> H is 22, 
O is 21. A, we're not going to use A. So again, it's O and H. So we have here an H and we have an O, which is right here, H and O. So I was gonna use sin again. S means sin, so sin, but not regular sin because we're looking for an angle, right? So this would be the inverse of sin, so sin negative one. make a fraction what goes first the o goes first because the letter next to s o is 21 divided by h they go second that's 22 so sin negative 1 21 over 22 so remember go to func go to function find the sin negative 1 and then we can type in go back to main so use the calculator to use the numbers and we want 21 over 22 21 divided by 22. 72.6, it might round it to 73, right? So something around those lines, 72, 73. And it does round it to 73 right there. So 12 is the letter B. So that's the test review. Uh, write down all these answers, use them, because the assignment today is to write down every single one of these answers and put it on Canvas for 300, all of them. Um, half of these answers are the exact same answers on your test. The next time I see you, you're going to have a test, right? So half of these answers are going to be the exact same question on the test. And I'll tell you right now, uh, it's two is the same question on your test. Four is the same question on your test. Six is the same question. Eight is eight, the same question. 10 is the same question and 12 is the same question. All of those are the exact same questions to your test. You have to worry about the other ones. But so I'm at least giving you a free 50 on your test. But for today, you wrote down all these things, fantastic. Now use all of these answers, put them on Canvas for today's assignment on the review and get a hundred people. Please don't get a zero. I'm giving you all the answers. Then the next time I see you, we're gonna have a test. Half of the answers are the exact same question, guys. All right? Um, yeah, so later, guys.